number three as we bring you coverage here on Pleasure Boater of the Miami International Boat Show from Miami Beach, Florida. Hello again, everyone. I'm your host, Captain Ted Jones. Look at the crowd that's in the Intrepid display here. There's a reason for that. They have got the hottest outboard motor to hit boating in, gee, I don't know, probably a hundred years. <laughs> These people from Seven Marine have taken the Cadillac CST V motor that's so you see in all the ads on TV, right, that puts out 550 some odd horsepower and they put it into an outboard engine. You kidding me? That's exactly what we've done. You got it right. All right, and, and here's the engines behind us, 557 horsepower, beautiful housing on them too, really look kind of spacey. Yeah, we did. We took the automotive engine as it exists in the Cadillac, brought it right into the outboard engine with minimal modifications, and then we styled it into a, a beautiful a beautiful package for people to enjoy. Oh yeah, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is the Cadillac engine with a heat exchanger. Yes, absolutely. So the Cadillac engine actually has no salt water going through the engine. It's all fresh water cooled in the engine and all the salt water comes through the radiator cooling inside the motor and then passes out through the uh, through the through hub propeller. Right, a typical heat exchanger installation like you might have on an inboard. Yes. It's exactly what it is as you'd find in diesel power or closed cool. It's ethylene glycol going through the engine that we then cool in the cooler. We also cool the oil and the transmission oil. The other thing it has is a ZF transmission. Beneath the engine, we drive down to a ZF transmission, which has a whole lot of features that outboards have never seen. Yeah, no kidding, ZF they normally put behind the big diesel motors right. in the yachts. And so what's happened in the marketplace is that with pod type technology, there's a whole set of big boat features that are becoming really popular. And outboard boats have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The pod boats have been getting more and more popular. So what we did is we took the pod transmission with the CTSV engine off the shelf, and we now have the big boat features in an outboard package. So our position is really above the outboard, but a little bit beneath the pod. So you got this pod big boat features in an outboard package with even more power. Furthermore, uh, the pod transmission type of device has got wet clutches so that we can use a joystick. So the joystick maneuvering is all part of this package. Really? And you'll change the size and pitch of the prop according to what Intrepid is putting this on. Absolutely. And in fact, we're working with many different boat companies in addition to Intrepid. Intrepid's been our launch partner and a great company to work with. But some people want to go 55 miles an hour on a big heavy boat. Some people want to go 85 miles an hour on a lighter boat. So different propellers, different diameters, different pitches, different rakes, depending on the application. Well, trust me, with the Intrepid Hall, this thing will scream congratulations to Seven Marine. And I salute Intrepid for being the guys to pioneer this. I want an Intrepid 400. This is the Cuddy Cabin model, you call it, right? Yes, it is. This is our, our one of our newest releases in the past year. I call this more of the cutty camera, my friend. This is really nice. I mean, you got a couch right here you can set. You got a dinette. Back there is the cutty cabin. Yeah, actually, what's nice, too, is this table also goes down and converts into a sleeping berth as well. So there's a lot going on in here. Yeah, I see that. It looks like uh, you got a refrigerator over there. Yeah, refrigerator, microwave, Corian countertops, all wood veneer. Uh, and we customize it any way you want it. Yeah, with as much power as you want. Absolutely. Hey, as you saw those engines earlier, that's... Uh, quite a package. I saw three of them. Yeah. Now, how fast will this boat run with those? Uh, this boat will run about 61, 62. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's getting on. Here's the big news. You won an award. Yeah, actually, we won uh, for this particular model that we're sitting in, the 400 Cuddy, uh, one of best boats of the year from Boating Magazine, which was really nice. Yeah, no kidding. Well, well-deserved, let me tell you. Now, how long before you hang some sevens back there? Oh, I know. We're excited about the whole seven project, and we're excited to get them on some several different models, and uh, with us coming out with a 54 in the future too now we got the power to do it because everybody wants outboards all right now you want to know what we're talking about okay on next week's show i'm going to tell you about a tremendous breakthrough just remember i talked about sevens okay remember that you want to catch it on the open of next week's show now meanwhile you've come with another new boat right yeah, actually, we've also got the 24 and now the 327, which is in our prototype stages. That's actually an entirely new hull design that we're doing, and we're going to use that also as a, a fishing tournament series boat to go into the SKA. Okay, so it'll be a fishing boat, 32 foot. Absolutely, 32 feet, and it's going to have, uh, it'll still have our traditional forward seating, but it's got a real radical hull design. Actually, you guys had visited us while we were doing tooling on that boat, and it's actually being built now. And in the future, you yeah, guys keep watching Pleasure Boater, we're going to go beyond 50.
Yes, I'm looking forward to doing a boat that's uh, going to be 54 feet, you know, and, and it's going to be outboard power. That's, uh, that's going to be a first. Okay, everything Intrepid does and releases that's new, you'll see it right here on Pleasure Boater. Keep watching.